Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. And today, this is gonna be a really interesting, hopeful message. And I'm hopeful that I can actually bring forward what's in my heart. In fact, I woke up really early this morning and the first thing I was feeling, and it was really, it was hard. <clears throat> it was hard. I woke up with a sense of uh, anxiousness and a little anxiety about what was really coming over me. It was this feeling that more and more people, there was been, uh, there's been some challenges here locally in my small town where um, people have uh, recently taken their lives and um, <clears throat> I feel that uh, we're all trying our best, right? We're all trying our best. And um, you know, along with uh, those kinds of tragedies, I just see on people's faces a level of heaviness and a level of just trying to figure out whether or not they're worthy of sometimes even continuing and continuing with really the deep work. You say, oh my gosh, there's so much work in my real life that my even more real life, my spiritual life, sometimes feels like I haven't got the energy anymore, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the desire, I'm just trying to survive. Well today, <clears throat> I'm gonna bring up the energy a little bit, so uh, hey, you know, it's real, right? If we could today look at what it means to embrace our self-care, not that we're not saying, hey, you know what, I don't get what's going on in the world and there's a lot of tragedies. I mean, there's, I mean, there's something going inside of you right now that is wicked dark and really, really hard. Can you just allow yourself for the next couple of minutes to think about a couple of practices that have been shown to really help ease the burden, light, lighten the load, <clears throat> lighten whatever you're carrying that you go, you know what, I don't want to carry this anymore. I haven't got the, I haven't got the desire. I wanna, I wanna raise my octave, I wanna raise my light, I wanna raise the level of joy that I feel and the level of peace that I can feel. Well, here, ah, isn't this today? <laughs> Real stuff today. Okay, um, number one, be, be present. You have someone in your life, I know you do, you have someone in your life that you absolutely love. There's someone there. And if there's someone there, then right here, love, love yourself that way and be so present with what's happening. Don't look away, look in. And when you're with someone that you love, look inside of them. Do all you can to be so immersed in the moment, and you're gonna see a level of happiness that is unbridled, and it's chemical, it's spiritual, it's emotional. So presence, if that's all we do, we win today. Be a student, number two, growth mindset. Look at the different things that are happening in your life, the things that you love, the things that are challenging you, and, and learn and say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna learn all I can to safely and successfully navigate this with integrity and character and joy, or at least a level of gritty persistence that I'm proud of, okay? <laughs> Chosen family, people your life well today. Look around and say, who am I decorating my life with? Are they kind, are they generous, are they loving, are they compassionate towards me? And if they are, good for you, and can you bring the same to them? Number four, exercise your purpose, your dharma, the thing that gives you light and love, exercise it with unbridled. <laughs> Bring it forward, show the world your beautiful masterpiece. That is, your, that is your great high intention and you need to actualize that intention. Don't be afraid to take you time. There's so much about these adult timeouts where I'll just take off outdoors, I'll take five minutes, take off my shoes, walk in the woods, walk on grass, or just, or, or just look in the sun or just look, just look in my heart and just say, what do you, what do you need today? Me time is really important. Number six, invest your money, invest your resources and experiences today. Don't try to go on a uh, consumer therapy experience today. Go to where you can actually be a conscious experience today. Number seven, <clears throat> be a giver of your light and love. When we take, when we think we have to get something before we can give something, Realize that you have a reservoir inside of you that's givingness, that's loveliness, that's expression of love and light, and bring it into the world. And number eight, embrace being totally uncomfortable. Today, ah oh boy, the first few minutes of this experience with you, it was really uncomfortable, so much moving inside of me. I'm embracing that. I want you to embrace that alongside of me today. Let us just absolutely love the uncomfortable. Let us embrace the stuff that's hard and the stuff that's beautiful, and let's live so fully so fully that it wakes us up and to realize that we are so courageous in our love of ourself and of our life. And we are here to show the world what it looks like. Much love and many blessings. Bye for now.